el dissabte 25 de maig de 1970, sota el lema La poesia entre el poble, tingué lloc al Gran Príncipe de Barcelona el primer festival popular de poesia catalana. El muntatge fou a càrrec de Josep Anton Codina i Feliu Formosa. Introduí l'acte Joan Colomines i el bloguer Joan Oliver. Varen col·laborar personalment els poetes Agustí Bartra, Pere Quart, Salvador Espriu, Joan Teixidor, Joan Vinyoli, Rosa Liberoni, Josep Palau i Fabra, Joan Brossa, Gabriel Ferreter, Joan Colomines, Jordi Sarsanedes, Josep Maria Llompart, Jaume Vidal i Alcover, Xavier Amorós, Joaquim Horta i Francesc Vallverdú. Aquests versos, com una partitura, no són més que un conjunt de signes per a desxifrar. El lector del poema és un executant. Però, avui, deixo estar el meu esperit en el seu estat natural. No vull que legitin pensaments ni idees. Prelude These lines, like sheet music, are no more than a collection of signs to decipher. The reader of the poem is a performer. But today, I leave my spirit in its natural state. I don't want it agitated by thoughts or ideas.
poema. Del cos dels Mossos de l'Esquadra només n'hi ha autoritzada una secció que és considerada com a força d'ordre públic i es limita concretament a prestar servei a la Diputació Provincial. En el Catalan Police Corps hi ha només una secció autoritzada per mantenir l'ordre públic and it only and specifically provides services to the Provincial Council. Which is to say about being encountered by a book, an obscure cloud which has engulfed me in its shadowy context and unreadable language. A composite mass that scarcely resembles the author's intention, iridized by light, moths, woodworm, and bacteria eating, raining remade pictures and scattering its reprints, meanings running like deer into the gray shadow of a wood. Like a string, I pull it this way, like how wax melts into the gizzard of a turkey, alarming and brightly strange, or the near fluorescent fractals of a complicated Romanesque broccoli that contains small amounts of cyanide, or something so amorphous, it is like what cannot be known, which is also what the divine would be, this lumpy ball thrown into the future, an openable door appearing in a wall, long phone call between two ghosts. Are these images pillows? Are these images mirrors? How different my spectre looks within them, while all around a border of torturous scrollwork brings the inside to the outside, this folly, fol de roll. Festina lente, make haste slowly by taking one thing and putting it alongside another. Stay in Venia. You move the hand that makes this, a thing of words that calls itself, myself. The ball has to drop to go up, says my analyst. It is still dropping, like this book into my lap, like the image of a family into a dark well. I am an analyst too, Marianne an interpreter of maladies. Like Mary, I bring them about, so I am prepared. Can I believe you, little book, that the wisdom of God is folly to us, that the fool who is silent is no different from the wise, that what is elusive can be caught in a leaf? Why these images, these voices, Why do you trouble me, branching vine? Who can I believe? The grass carries a sailboat, which is a quiet flower, the everlasting pea. Its one-sided magenta sail, full and ballooning as the left ventricle in times of trouble. Or this voice in my head, call it thoughtlessness. Reanimation is possible as inertia is impossible, only smaller movements, as when a boat becomes a flower on the patient grass. And will you, unseen fish, your touch still spreading circles you cannot see, will you show yourself to me if I wait here? El vers que heu llegit ja és el passat, ja ha quedat enrere després de la lectura. La resta del poema és el futur, que existeix fora de la vostra percepció. Els mots són aquí, tant si els llegiu com no, i cap poder terrestre no ho pot modificar. Time. 
This line is the present. The line you have just read is already the past. It reminded behind after being read. The rest of the poem is the future, existing outside your perception. The words are here, whether you read them or not. And nothing on earth can change that. de lluna plena tramuntaren la cadena lentament sense dir res si la lluna feia el ple també el feu la nostra pena avui en terres de França i demà més lluny potser no em moriré d'enyorança ans d'enyorança viuré En la terra del Vallès, tres turons fan una serra, quatre pins, un bosc esper, cinc quarteres, massa terra. Com el Vallès, no hi ha res. Que els pins senyeixin la cala, l'ermita dalt al pujol, i a la platja un tenderol que bategui com un alt. Una esperança desfeta, una recança infinita i una pàtria tan petita que l'assumiu completa. slowly without speaking. As the moon was full, so was our sorrow. Now in France, and later, perhaps, further still, I will die of longing, of longing I will live. In my land, El Valles, three hills make a mountain, four pines, a thick forest, 500 acres, too much land. There is nothing like El Valles. Pine trees hug the cove, the hermitage on the hill and on the beach, an awning flaps like wings, a lost hope, infinite sorrow, and a homeland so small that I can dream it all at once. I'm a film, the forest of red spruce is burning inside me. The gold of my intestines is a frozen lake of rain. The tree in my eye is a thousand years old. I'm a film. The skins of my dream are 45 buffalo hide. The urinal of heaven is resin burnt to dust. I'm a film, a black line of nomads on a march of winter snow. A vestige of nightmare in the core of a mountain ash. A collapsed sheep fed apricots above the tree line. The mobility of resin in sleets of bloodberry time. The dizzy jism of ancestors' shadows. I'm a film, I'm a shroud over the face of a girl cornered by monotony. I'm a shroud placed by the art of political morons. I'm the flimsy space where breath can't decay. I'm away where there never was a way. I'm a film. I'm used milk sold from the shack. The cheeses of despair in the vodka ruts. 
the archives left out on the roofs to dry, the persistence to choose without knowing why, the words that form in the slick of the liver, the antonym of trauma in the road edge hut. This is language that forms in the gut. I'm a film. I'm Rumi who climbed in my unwindowed wall. I'm Rilke who meets me up the deep stairwell. I'm Marina who gazes through my shut-eyed eye. I'm Jibben Ananda tossed high by a bus out of hell. I'm Cesar Vallejo in some burnt mestizo cell. I'm Kyril Anwar in the highest of high rises. I'm despair on despair that climbers despise. I'm a film. I'm the sun seen through the belly of a horse, a fall unfold by the red mare's nurse, a raft in the rapids, a curse in the floods. I'm vodka urns drunk down incessant muds. I'm the moon that falls in the deep tureen, the meaning of meaning, the mean of the mean, the algebra of language. I'm a film. The gabe of colour and the gabe of dream, Five little children in a meadow of poppies, a class full of goats in a blue tent screen. Five little children who wake up and scream. Forty-five gabes later dry by a torrent, rags of colours tied to the trees. I'm a film. I am gorse that burns in the coconut air, coma crest of storm that march on the moor, sharks teeth of islands across a burnt out sea displaced peasants beneath a monopoly flag, legion on legion of exiled contadini, paths to the shielings that run into bogweed, scratches of song from a muted tongue. I'm a film. Four billion year old mountains seen from a plain, a shepherd's language shared by 15 men, a whole earth held spun in a pool of water. This is language that climbs from the aorta. I'm a film. A cone of wood for the making of charcoal, smoke rising straight from an emptied village, season on seizure in an unfinished ritual, thunder walls on an epic snow journey, one warm commitment that's never enough. I'm a film. I'm a film. You're a film. We're a film. Children. A necklace from a war yet to come. Fragments, scoriae, a rebuilt city, 10,000 incomprehensible avenues. In the midst of this rehearsed world that only stuns with its affluence, naturally we rejected the scars of a disremembered time, memory that seeks out its scars, as if its bricks were bruised off air as if the tenderest child were to shed her own dear life. As if the hanging gardens were no longer hanging in green time. All the protesting nonsense of intricate days burnt down to nothing. I'm a film. Such pure faces, such masked energies, such perverse visions. Oh, angels, smile in the fetus of the world. Oh, smile of angels, here in our now. Comitas the Mad never made a film, but nor did he not ever make a film. His whole unwayward life was one unwavering commitment of film. Or when you put your eye so close up to a flower you can no longer make out what it is but a blur of blue and shape. And its filaments, its stamen are still there, miraculous growths of what can only be, extraordinary world patterns, that from which we were made. Or like a chapel in the mountains, raw such with winter snow, or like the astonishing vortex of crepe that a mouse makes her nest from, more complex than any mathematical structure of our earth, worked only by instinct and trust. Such nests I preserved in my home until they were burnt accidentally in the cold winters of regeneration. Film is prosaic poetry, 
only because poetry is essentially prosaic. What is quotidian still is the stuff of our daily bread. Pasolini knew that, but who knows Pasolini in these days? In these days of autism and bliss, who knows the urge of his rabia, the context of his urgent rage? Though we occupy glutton cities and try to energize new options, Pasolini knew poetry is work. Film, I tell you, is the most urgent and radical prosaic. Film is pure poetry in our beautifully impure world, whirl of pattern in the innermost wall of our brain. Vagrant tongues that curl meanings through walls. Women who can penetrate any wall without holes. Women who can breach any peace that betrays us. Zigzag of curdled energy in a rented meeting house. Sheets of dark snow approaching across the moor. Garbled language in bitter tight coils of our world. Savage snowstorm in such lamentable mountains. Film, I tell you, is the most urgent and radical prosaic. Old woman living life year long in a raw biter, her slowness vital yeast for our possible future. Markets of pomegranate and peppers in thick rain, futures mercantile for blubber in great cities, cynicisms choked back in bad summer lattes. Film, I tell you, is the most urgent prosaic. I'm a film. It was siege warfare. They ate the leaves off the trees. White wolves surrounded the houses. All the villages and towns about raised. Severed heads held aloft by masked men. Absolute worlds of understanding, never meeting political ethics of raw fratricide. City of the sun splayed out in red deserts. Calm boulevards reduced to dirt robbers. Little children screaming at their friends. We who yearn the lyric calm of courage. We who learn to cynic cornered outrage. We who charm the birds down off the trees. I am my own language. My language is me. I am a film. When I bypass the city in the desert, when I bypassed the hatreds in the Senate, when I gabbled at the air in my intestines, when I garbled what matters in investing, when I fluked the selfie of some murder, when I puked the surfeit of my master, when I said all of poetry's cunning labor, when the city I bypassed self-exploded with a motive for its being unrecorded, sun city that's exploding in the morning, two different worlds of understanding, white city of the sun, I'm a film.
housework's clothes, furniture, one's wife, and the fear of war. Victor Shlovsky, art as device. I only called you once, looking for context, but my concern was ever that our reflections would be wide rather than deep. Scarcely a great depression, simply a naval high spirit level, a void that comes to your knees. And rounded forms. Oh, mercy. A painting hanging on a piece of red and yellow string that was full of locusts wearing gold garments with men's faces and women's hair crawling out of a pit onto scorched grass, and the sea in the distance, and the sky above was the color of ox blood, and the locusts clad in armor were killing each other with swipes of their tails. And I was thinking of you as a kind of blue deer, and imagining the version of forest that image would demand, the cytokinins and oxen and painting hanging on a piece of red and yellow string. de la pell de brau. Direm la veritat sense repòs per l'honor de servir sota els peus de tots. Detestem els grans ventres, els grans morts, la indecent parenceria de l'or, les cartes mal donades de la sort, el fum espès d'encens, el poderós. Ara viu el poble de senyors, s'ajup en el seu odi com un gos, lladre de lluny, de prop admet bastó, enllà del fang segueix camins de mort. Amb la cançó vestim en la foscor altes parets de somni a recer d'aquest torn. Ve per la nit remor de moltes fonts. Anem tancant les portes a la por. We shall speak the truth without end for the honor of serving under the foot of all. We loathe great bellies and great words, the obscene showiness of gold, the poorly dealt cards of luck, the thick smoke of incense set before the powerful. Now the land of the mighty is vile and grovels in hatred like a dog, barking far off, nearby, enduring the stick, beyond the mire, pursuing paths of death. With a song in the dark, we erect tall dream walls to protect us from the uproar. At night, the rustle of many fountains comes. We are closing the doors on fear. rustle of many fountains comes. Spectacles are not the issue. We want more spectacles, not less. Through them, our dreams make kindling for the conflagration of quantification. Our spectacles and dreams come from our composite bodies and imaginations. They try to cut these from us. They do this because they have no dreams. They cannot read, see, or hear, as we understand reading, seeing, or hearing. You do not need eyes or ears to read. Come with me speaking now, as if to nobody at all. Come with me as we are all nobody. We are spirits, 
going to stand outside the honeycombed windows of the mansion. We will squash our faces against these windows and frighten the occupants. As we can read through these windows, this is a sad life for them. They live in fear, without a language to bring the unlike things of the world together. They play with flags and with invisible numbers, but these things mean nothing to them as they mean nothing to us. They measure, but what are they measuring? They are measuring how long it could be before their houses and things are taken away. It will not be long before their houses and things are taken away. We are peasants and serfs, as our ancestors also were. We have our composite bodies and our imaginations. We have had enough. Fear is not the issue. With fear and expansiveness comes like a conflagration. A cloud of possibility moves over the land with its uncanny shadow. Within this obscurity, we find a clearness that is brighter than clarity. We can see them up as they are, as we can see ourselves. We can see ourselves are our more than ourselves. As in a dark screen, no stopwatch, but a lilac ferris wheel that always turns with the always increasing numbers. Here there is no night, though many spirits are tapping their sighs into the wheels turning lights as skyscraper shadows struggle to put on their tool coats and run out into the fields, where birds, like sparks, are flying out of the complicated bushes into the dayless air, as there is no day here. They leaves still blow across the crossroads where crowds of children move stickily back and forth into the scudding foam of adulthood. This is the formless face of the beginning. Press your faces into the glass as if it were the softest pillow. They can see us now. They are afraid of us. There are as many of us as leaves, as droplets of rain, as hailstones. Through us, the fountains of the world to come will be symbols of the indefinable. Salta Martí. Ni not que porta un pes a la base i que desviat de la seva posició vertical es torna a posar dret al poble. Tumblr. A doll that has a weight in its base and that tipped from its vertical position writes itself again. The people. Llegiré alguns fragments, pocs, quatre o cinc només, del cartell per als murs de la meva pàtria. Cal saber que ell, el poeta, quan escrivia el seu cartell, encara vivia fora de Catalunya. El mur, els murs, el mur on deixo el meu edicte amb paraules que són de ningú i de tothom. Agustí m'anomenen partres el meu cognom, criatura del llamp i de l'espera invicta. Invisible i sabut, torno com una hereta d'espines i cristall. O deixa't que lleuger em posi pàtria meva a la teva mà dreta i m'hi adormi tranquil amb fluït d'ala i carrer. He dit i no m'hi adormiré.
The walls. The walls. The wall in which I leave my edict in words that belong to nobody and to all of us. They call me Auguste. Bartra is my family name. The child of lightning and unvanquished waiting. Invisible and known, I return like a swallow of thorns and glass. Oh, let me gently alight on your right-hand side, my homeland, and sleep to the sound of wings and the streets. I've spoken, and I want to sleep. Begging on the street whose eyes you're trying not to me A sadder sight you'll rarely see On that I think we'll both agree The food bank shelves are very near bare You'll see evictions everywhere That lassie might be gone and thin She's just working life out to keep life in Don't judge a folk by what they wear or how they speak, how they might swear. Nor how they live, nor how they play, they're trying just to end their day. And need they say for bills and debts or interest rates and final threats. The rich get richer, they'll stay thin. Just working life out to keep life in. But maybe now I've said enough You only want to hear this stuff It's hard enough to just get by Without tears streaming for your eye And the only bonus may still see Is friendliness and charity But day and night through thick and thin We're working life out to keep life in Missió general, Dios i tu, triem un tema, el del mínim vital. Germans, pensem en l'altra vida, pensem que allà totes les vostres penes. Hi ha un home que està sol tancat a la masmorra, amb el cos masegat. Obtindran el seu premi. Esquint se'l sobre verd. 400 pessetes, muller, mare i tres fills, no cal dir, pa a dojo. Els béns materials no tenen importància. Dios te hablará, misión general. La barraca no resisteix l'aiguat i uns ulls dintre la fosca miren el sostre. Dios i tu. Germans, la vida és una creu. És on viu d'on tal, bonic i cruor, amb un vell palau entapissat, amb quatre cambres de banys, jardins i criats que s'avillen amb uniformes greus. La grègia mestressa sovint fa caritat. Però serà més fàcil que entri un camell. La grègia, senyora, és propos i el marit se'n riu. El pare Ignasi s'apressa a fer-li bé. 
allò del camell, dama, està escrit però és no donadors. Les almoines que vostè i el senyor fan al convent, bé valen un tros de cel. En Pau, què ha llegit el dia? Quants robatoris, oi? És el vici, senyora, perquè el treballador... 400 pessetes, mullem mare i tres fills... Miri, pot que li digui, el gran culpable és mar. Jo sí, on és? On és? Overall mission, God and you. Pick a topic, subsistence, income. Brethren, think of the afterlife. Think that they are all your sorrows. A man is locked up in a dungeon, his body battered. They will get their reward. Tie the green packet, 400 pesetas. Wife, mother, and three children goes without saying, plenty of bread. Material goods are not important. God will talk to you. Overall mission. The barracks are not watertight. A pair of eyes in the dark look at the ceiling. God and you. Brethren, life is a cross. The house of a bountiful and great man. A former palace, all upholstered. Four bathrooms, gardens, and servants in uniforms. The woman of the house gives to charity. But it will be easier for a camel to enter. The lady feels qualms, and her husband laughs. Father Ignacy rushes to calm her. The thing about the camel, madam, was written for non-donors. The alms that you give the convent are worth a piece of heaven. In peace, have you read the newspaper? There are so many robberies. It's vice, madam, workers. 400 pesetas, wife, mother, and three children. I couldn't care less. The culprit is Marx. God, yes. Where is he? Here is a southern gothic tale that's true. Maybe it's time to devour one another. This grandiose sharing could be the new commerce. The brainwave patterns of 40 subjects were officially coded with spoken words and silent thoughts. The violent indoctrination placated to learn to read. But a boring patience, the one for freedom, Here's Jimmy Baldwin in his apron, greasing up hand. Some landline intervenes and endlessly ringing earth revelations I've been buked and the other side of heartbreak is not ambition. Crimson gauze wrapped in God's suicide, some genocide is God's suicide, adjacent and remote to glory, a form, a gory form of favoritism, glory form, shot 44 
times in the head. We announce readily, I will not dream only of security and safety, but he's never planning to be a minister. And this version, just gestures of church and Greece, so duress, so wreckage, so woodshed bound and skeletal minstrel, so rope around the seas and skit when Rafa catch up with season of the witch. We made the calamity famous, endless. Because it's not yet sublimated rage, his craven childhood rubric for the silly hope we all hide in our skin. Buckets of candy and sweetness never expires, but the sucre fades, the faint funk of daylight in a B-movie. The bad deed of having fake anatomy links cabaret to the brightly lit machine, and it occurs to me that these ruins are the blighted heave of an undone trance, and we might even love them and ourselves again. A mass of habit-tensed muscle unfolding into the archive of vengeance, a delicate jest. Inside of which sharing became my coherence. We are atonal here and combed out. God's dialogue so glad and disaster sigh bye bye. Tomorrow dies of longing and we go right on walking, self-hypnotizing. No one ever told you how much you can heal in one day. Is it too solicitous? Is it effective to make such beautiful sounds? Or affect infected with such beautiful sounds? Is it herd instinct that makes words go round words down like poison? I heard most people don't experience catastrophic violence. Pity for them. Watch Fletcher Henderson do this time step. He's so light-skinned, has that Hitler mustache, speck of babble on the stillness of him. Feet pattering like police baton, not that it's bad to vaguely resemble your very own enemies. All of life is predicated on a certain degree of possession. Not that the ruins are in exile from themselves or resembling their enemies' fantasies litany. for early mystical initiation, a slur or tie, rich homie Kwan or buddy guy, even Richie Havens, where does an improvisation begin and fizzle like some relations or no relation at all? George Clinton is crying in my arms again how an altruistic caution has a hinge on him and he'll never get to be maudlin again. Lonnie Holly's howling began then. Moralizing captivity, that viral riffing he calls high lonesomeness, bipolar jonesing. What if I rip your heart out and turn it into a supermarket? The ruins mention that we were here. The demolition mentions our omission. The crackle of fragments, miles whispering in my ear, crackling by the pool. Monk spinning his muteness into real visible tyranny of good sounding. Duke Ellington chartering, chattering the mission of poise in his vocal tone. Tambor accusing himself of everything. Play it again. Look how she ate that. He collapses. Tu 
noi la nou, cum via manci cu Domnul. Vau tenti în gras de mel de mici virgilis, că îl ia galant a mei de vă salva. Gose pure, mel de balsone auguste, quant în gras menci, e voi cuptavi noi, gose pure de buiasi să vă. Malvat al pont, împărădă la Spanie, cuzi d'un sang i savi tu mateix, Viva-t'hi bé, que em vindran de més avis, a historiar-te i divant que ets mal rei. Els has perdut una bruta batalla que ets han gosat poder saber que s'era. Viva-t'hi bé, general, que una pàtria gosa posar molta esperança en tu. No gosis, no, poder caure batalles. Pelà tampoc no et cal guanyar les totes. Si tens na pal per sembrar camps del nord, no has de poder perdre guerres de sud. Bring to mind the earth, 
the sky and the water, and throw sand on a mirror to look at its capricious forms, or to draw in it a letter. Year after year, I scratch at the earth with my nails, so I can cut out the shadow ahead of me and penetrate the roots. and figures, I shape the egg of the world on a potter's wheel. People sweep evil under the carpet and stretch out their necks and stretch out their legs. Beyond this scene, I think again of the way that some horns spiral. Having seen transformed a stone into a scorpion, I no longer confirm nor contradict but find myself face to face with myself and me who takes care of me. I am in the middle of an esplanade, but no movement takes me anywhere, nor does the recourse to some ceremony prove anything to me. The only thing I have to do is imagine great forests or the smoke from some grass. But if you go too far away, be consumed night and day by the ground that others choose with no real instinctive force. I mean to imitate nothing with these clothes, nor do I care to cast a shadow anywhere with a weapon, because in the name of all things I see my real name, and I want to keep secret the number of its letters and its three initials.